Hey, what's up you guys? Marty Schwartz here of Marty Music. Thanks for hanging out. I've got a very valuable acoustic blues trick that you're going to love. It's called the Land of E7. I've talked about some of this stuff before. I'm going to break it down. You can use it in so many different ways. Uh, the basic idea is that the, the thing I'm going to show you, the little moves everywhere, can substitute an E7 chord anytime in any combination. So let's zoom in and break it down. All right, there's so many uses for this. Uh, let's start with the E7 chord where the middle finger's on the second fret of the A string and index finger's on the first fret of the G. And you can strum all six strings. Now the next thing we're gonna do is that index finger is gonna move up to the second fret of the G. And now we're gonna use our ring finger to play the fourth fret of the A string. And by the way, the fingering's only going to be on the A and, and G strings. So. so E7. Okay, next, we're going to move our ring finger up a half step. So ring finger on the third fret of the A, and now middle finger on the um, fourth fret of the G. And maybe start with these first three shapes, get them down a little bit before you move on. That one, and go this way. And back up too. And I mean, you'll hear that like in this kind of thing. Okay, so those are the first three. Now the good news is we can just move this now up a whole step without changing any fingering. I like that one. Okay, now we move ring finger up to the ninth fret of the A, and now index is on the seventh of the G. And then the good news is we move that up a whole step. So that'd be 11 on the A and 9 on the G. Then we move up to ring finger on the 12 of the A and 11 on the G. And then we move that up a whole step and you're back at E7. I mean, they're all extensions of E7, but you're literally back at the octave up of this E7 chord. So the cool thing is the first two, it's like one of a kind, and then but then they go in groups of two. So you have that shape, that shape, but now we have two of these shapes, and then two of these shapes, and then two of these shapes, all whole steps apart. So that one, then a whole step down, that shape, then the same thing, a whole step down, that shape again, whole step down, and then the one of a kinds, one shape, one shape. One shape, one shape, now two of these, a whole step apart, and then up to here, and two of these a whole step apart, and then up to here, whole step apart. And they can be in any order. Alright, so you just move them all around in all kinds of uh, different combinations and it will substitute over an E7 chord. 
Let's just, let's just get the shapes one more time. Second fret A, first fret G. Fourth fret A, second fret G. Fifth fret A, fourth fret G. Seventh fret A, sixth fret G. Ninth A, seventh G. Eleventh fret A, ninth fret G. Twelfth fret A, eleventh fret G. And then fourteenth fret A, thirteenth fret G. It's cool for finger picking, it's cool for just picking notes out. Since all six strings work, you know, if you just kind of aim for different strings, you're not gonna hit a wrong string. Right? And then... All right, thanks again for watching the lesson. Hope, uh, hope it helped you out. Also, you can sign my newsletter at martymusic.com and you get a free multi-hour digital guitar course based on your skill level. So. I really appreciate you taking that extra step with me. Anyway, we'll see you again real soon. Take care.